last all day at this beautiful intake um, from Styx Element, of course. And I've always wanted this type of enclosed acrylic box for the intake just because, I mean, look at how freaking cool that looks. Like under your hood, imagine popping it and seeing this. <laughs> I don't know. But on my other car, I always wanted this specific style and I did have um, Sixus intake, but it was uh, not the acrylic one. What was it? It was open air intake, I guess. So yeah, I had that painted white and stuff, but this, I mean, is, is a different next level. And I think with the EN, it will just go perfect, especially with, uh, you know, wanting to be a little bit more showy. Um, like of a show car so I think it'll just go uh, you know better with the build and stuff but yeah it's beautiful I can't wait to get it installed six did go ahead and obviously package this way better than what it is but um, we already opened it and kind of looked at everything so yeah I'm really excited for that and then let me show you guys what else uh, came in it Okay, so down here, ta -da! I'm so excited to have this, the carbon fiber, it's just going to go good with everything else. Alright guys, now that you guys have seen the intake, I'm going to go ahead and remove the stock OEM intake from in here. So the way that I remove this intake is um, I remove the two push clips that hold this uh, snorkel in right here, and I'll go ahead and remove the three bolts that hold this intake down I don't remove the top lid and I go ahead and disconnect the intake side hose and then I go ahead and remove this 10 millimeter bolt so I went ahead and loosen this already I'm gonna go ahead and just remove those three bolts and I'll go ahead and pop this all out oh and one last thing guys is Emily doesn't have the BPV recirculation hose routing back down we're running the AV6 blow off valve on here so we just have a one inch chair cap capping this. So if you guys did have this, you would have to go ahead and remove this cap and pop that hose off. So now that we have all that done, everything is loose. What I can do is I can push back on this towards the car and just go ahead and pick up. This whole unit will come out as one. And then I can go ahead and just give this a couple of little twists to make sure that this is gonna come off easy, which it is. And keep twisting, keep twisting, and it's off. And here we go. So now that this is all open, we're gonna have an open area for us to go ahead and put in the new box. So now that the intake is removed, what I had did is I had put the, we don't, we're not running the turbo inlet yet. That will be next, what we go ahead and order. But for right now, we had went to put the reducer coupling that goes from the four inch to the turbo inlet. Um, put the clamps on loose right here. So that way, I, not even loose, um, they're just on there. So that way I can move this around and figure out where we're gonna wanna angle this. So this looks like it's clearing both passageways. I'm gonna put the other coupler on and then we're gonna fit the actual box in. All right, so in the packaging, six includes these three little bushings with screws in there and then three supplied screws. These are gonna go where the original hardware went to hold the intake in. So we're just gonna go ahead and kind of tighten those down, give it a good hand tight. Same thing with this one, hand tight. And then go down to this one, right here by the ECU. All right, so I'm not sure who's gonna get a box that's already pre-assembled, but our intake was not. And let me tell you, honestly, this thing gave me a pretty hard time. Um, what honestly worked for us was we held it straight down this way, so this clamp naturally wants to hug the bottom of this box, while I held or I had Emily holding the intake down, pushing down here. And what I had did is I used a couple of extensions with a swivel and I think it's a seven millimeter. It's a seven, but I used a seven and pretty much at that angle, I just fed this right over here and just start tightening it from right here. I mean, she's tight now. So, I mean, it's not going anywhere, but 
it took me honestly a like a good 25 minutes to try to figure out how to get this tightened down but now that it's tightened it's not going anywhere we can go ahead and get this thing in Thank <laughs> you. 